White, CEO of DirecTV. You may have heard we're in discussions with Viacom about how much of your bill is fair to pay for their networks. Viacom wants you to pay over 30% more. That's an extra billion dollars for the exact same channels you already receive. We think that's unreasonable. At the very least, we believe Viacom should be willing to give your family the choice to pay for only those networks you watch. But so far, they've refused. Viacom continues to insist on an all-or-nothing approach. They demand that you pay substantially more for all 17 of their channels, or you won't get any of them at all. Please know we will work this out. We always do. Bringing you and your family the very best TV experience at the most reasonable cost is DirecTV's promise to you. To find out more about how we're working to resolve this as quickly as possible, visit DirecTVPromise.com. And thanks for your time. SpongeBob, Jersey Shore, Jon Stewart, and even reruns of other favorite television shows like The Nanny or Friends are now unavailable for over 20 million DirecTV subscribers. This blackout is due to a dispute between DirecTV and Viacom Inc. Viacom is a company that owns networks such as Nickelodeon, Nick at Night, MTV, TV Land, Comedy Central, and over 20 more. Apparently, DirecTV had a seven-year agreement to purchase these channels as a package. That seven-year contract expired late Tuesday night, leaving DirecTV subscribers without any Viacom networks. According to DirecTV, Viacom has demanded a 30% increase, which is about an extra $1 billion for these shows, or, according to Viacom, a couple of pennies more per day per subscriber. A spokesperson for Viacom states that despite Viacom's best efforts, DirecTV rejected proposals to renew their contract. Viacom wants DirecTV to purchase a bundle of channels, meaning that they have to carry the low-rated networks if they want to keep the higher-rated ones like MTV or Nickelodeon. DirecTV believes that each subscriber should be able to pick and choose which channels they would like to have, as opposed to paying for many that they do not watch in order to keep the ones that they do. Viacom says that the fee DirecTV was paying under the contract signed seven years ago is now below market price. DirecTV has said that they have offered to pay a slightly higher fee for the channels, but not as high as Viacom is asking. This is not the first time a television distributor has had a problem with Viacom. Dish Network, eight years ago, removed some Viacom channels when they were unable to reach a new distribution agreement. That situation, however, ended with Dish caving to Viacom's demands for a higher rate. In the meantime, DirecTV is allowing eight Encore channels, which usually come with the higher price premium subscription, to be viewed free until the 31st of